Hi, Phil Chicho here, founder of Success Think and creator of Think Yourself to Success. I wanted to share with you today the topic of difficult people because I know that in most organizations, uh, people have to deal with difficult people. And one of the things that is important to understand is obviously there are different personality styles and communication styles and work styles. And, and certainly um, there's tons of training on that and I do lots of training on that as well. But one thing that's important to understand is that oftentimes um, what people experience or people perceive to be as a, a difficult situation or a difficult person is internal. And so what I mean by that is oftentimes things get amplified. Our brain or our mind tries to amplify things to prove them to us. And so if you find that people in your organization are saying, you know, so many people here are difficult or people are this or that department is like that. And they start to generalize about people, departments and circumstances. And they say, every time I deal with this department, this happens. Or every time I talk to this person, this happens. Or these people are always like this. Those are generalizations that get amplified in the mind. And unfortunately, the mind doesn't know that it's not real. So people have anxiety over it. They come to work frustrated or, or in a negative place or don't want to be there because of all of this stuff going on in their mind that may not even really be true at the level that they believe it's true at. So let me try to explain this so that you can understand this with one simple uh, idea that just happened. I was just with a coaching client. And she said, I asked her a simple question. I said, you know, what is your biggest challenge? And she said, the people, the people, she said, they're so hard to deal with. There's so much negativity or it's toxic. And she started going on about the people and in her environment. And so after I heard her say that, you know, to me, the picture was that, you know, this place is a pretty toxic place. There's pretty negative people there. And um, I asked her a simple question. I go, well, which people? I mean, how many people are you dealing with that are like this of, of the entire group or in your department? And she looked at me and she said, well, it's, it's really one person, one person. And she said, sometimes two, but that person's leaving anyway. So she goes, it's really just one person. And so I said, okay, and is this person always that way? I said, label the person for me. If you have one word that would describe this person, what would it be? And, and she used a label of really grouchy and negative, she said. And I said, okay. I said, is this person always grouchy and negative? And she said, well, you know, most of the time, it depends on the day or depends on, you know, what she came in with. And I said, what other ways does this person behave? And she said, sometimes she can be pretty sweet, you know, so it really depends. So look at this. We went from everybody, the whole place is toxic to one person and then not even one person all the time, just some of the time. And some of the times this person is really sweet. But think about what this has done for this person. She goes into work every day with this amplified version of her day, which ends up being her reality, which ends up ma making her day a horrible day, I would imagine. She probably goes home and it's like, oh, I can't believe it, right? Uh, such a bad day. So, you know, all of these people, and it's all just amplified in the mind because of one person some of the time. Well, think about this for a moment. Most people are exactly like this person. This person isn't unique in any way. Most people take one item, one thing, and they amplify it. They generalize it. They talk about a department that might be, you know, oh, so hard to deal with. And it really isn't. It's just one person or one instance or, you know, one circumstance or, oh, my manager is like this or leadership is like that. And they always do this. And they, they, they use these generalizations that get imprinted onto the mind and then it becomes their reality. So in essence, when you're trying to work with your people to coach them to higher levels of performance and success, it isn't always external. It isn't always looking at the things that are going on around them. It's looking at the things that are going on inside of them, right? And so, sure, I teach on personality styles and how to manage those styles. And I teach uh, on communication styles and, and work styles and, and how to you know, recognize those and how to work with those people. But ultimately, uh, even if you know all that stuff, if your internal story is one that is amplified to the negative, if your internal story is one that is generalized, it doesn't really matter how much work you do out here because out here will look exactly like you believe in here. And so you have to really understand that people uh, need training internally, not just externally. They need to understand, you know, what's going on inside to change what's going on outside and to affect their relationships externally as well. And so if you're looking for training and I'm talking about and I and I don't mean soft skills training. I mean, I teach in soft skills and that's important, you know, people skills. But it's really ultimately I, I like to joke around about this, but my training isn't just soft skills. It's 
it's, it's human training, right? We train animals, right? How do we do that? We get inside them and change their behavior. Well, humans are the same way. We need to train humans about themselves, about what's going on internally, because if we can change what's going on internally and we can change that story inside to something that's more serving and empowering, then everything outside will change as well. So if you're looking for some unique training, something different outside of the box, uh, beyond your normal training, uh, certainly reach out to me. Uh, if you're watching this video on my website, you can get my contact information here on my website. If you're watching this video on YouTube, um, down in the description, I'll have my information there, my phone number or my, or my email address, or at least my website, where you can um, go to my website and get all the information that you want. So I'm glad that you watched this video. I hope that this has served you. I hope that you really understand that training is internal, not external. And if we can change the way that people you know, think about themselves and the story that they tell themselves, we can change the results and literally change the culture of your department or your organization. Have a great day.